Hey folks, welcome to our playthrough of the first Draw Steel Backer Packet. When last we left our heroes, they defeated the pirates that boarded the Revelation, but their incendiary shots have set fires on the ship and punctured holes where the sea is rushing in. As the pirate ship pulls away, crew members are taking stock of the damage and are driven to panic. Trouble below, Captain, comes a shout. She's taken on water and the fire spread to the cargo hold. Captain Oriole's eyes meet yours. We'll talk about this later, uh, as she gestures to the bodies on the deck and the fire that's lapping at the mizzen. The mizzen, by the way, I looked it up, and it's the mast the that is the aft mast. of the ship. Yeah. yeah. Not the main mast next to you. No. Uh, I knew that needed something. There's something in the <laughs> hold that is going to blow us all sky high, you understand? The ship groans under the stress that the pirates attack have dealt to it. It tells you you're sinking. So, oh geez. you guys did not discover what was in the cargo hold, but nope. what is in there is clearly explosive. It's black powder. So we are now going into a montage test where you must succeed in saving the ship or possibly fail. There will be two rounds. During each of those rounds, each uh, hero, and here uh, I will be rolling for Slayer, but if some of you have good ideas of what you would like Slayer to do, you know, he's happy to, to follow that lead. You need to achieve six successes before you get three failures to have a total success. There is a partial success where as long as you get two more successes than failures when the time runs out, you know, it's a partial success. Obviously not as good as you want. And then, of course, there is total failure, um, which we'll get there. So, six successes before three failures, that is a total of like nine possible tests uh, to achieve. Uh, and there's five heroes, each who takes two actions, so that's ten. What that means is most heroes have to be taking action during the montage. If you want to, like, there is not enough turns for each hero to aid another hero to give them an edge in the test so as to make each test with the best possible uh, solutions. Because you we, will run out of time. Okay. Like I said, we, two rounds. We use the... Whatever test we we think can help in this situation. Indeed. And I am going to describe the challenges that are taking place at the moment. So... The hold is full of black powder. Which some of you may wish to interact with. Perhaps... Uh, to get it away from, uh, from the danger, perhaps to uh, treat it in such a way as to make it safer. There is the fire, which can be fought, ideally not with fire, although if you have a really good argument why that would work, <laughs> uh, that, you know, I might allow it. Uh, there is the flooding, which you could try and diminish by bailing water out, or you could try and use a particularly mighty body to help you get through the water or help other people get through the water so as to uh, not have it impair so many people. Then there are the leaks, which were caused by the heavy impacts under the waterline. So uh, they could be plugged, they could be repaired, or the sections that are being flooded perhaps could be uh, isolated from the rest of the ship. There is the panicked crew, as there is water and fire where there shouldn't be on the ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you can get them under control and back to their competent professional selves uh, that could help with all the other uh, challenges and finally there are the passengers who are also panicking uh, and could get in the way of uh, everything but perhaps you don't want to calm them perhaps you want to evacuate them make sure they're uh, safe and sound so does anybody have oh I will note as uh, someone who's currently playing Slayer, I will say Slayer has some fire resistance. Mm -hmm. So oh, that's useful. He yeah. I I, I also going to change my wheel wheel plate to fire, uh, uh, considering that this is a new fight. Nice. So Can I ask that also? you write or uh, share the ah? You already did. They're here in the chat. Yeah. Black powder, fire, floating leaks, panicking crew, yeah. passengers. Three, you so don't like have I to deal six. with all of them but they're there as a guidance for the test. 
as long as you get six successes before three failures, and each test can be of different difficulty depending on what you are uh, attempting and how you are attempting to deal with it. It is easier for a mighty hero to traverse the flooding, like just swim through it and push through it, than it is to bail the water out, for instance. But if you bail the water out, that might make it easier uh, to deal with the panicked crew. Uh, I will say, this is something that I looked up that others may have not, there is a pump, a bilge pump, that is made for getting water out of the ship. It is up here uh, at the, the very stern of the ship, and that requires strength and uh, endurance to basically create a vacuum as you pump the water out. But there are also buckets and other ways that you can attempt to, to fight the flooding. Okay, how strong is Kava? No, no, that's exactly what it is. Kava is not very strong okay. at all. Like, deceptively not strong. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> deceptively. Deceptively. Uh, but, there's another thing that Kava can actually do. I think Kava is the, the, the one here that can actually uh, create a plan for the fixing of the hull. Good. Because I have, um, I have uh, archi architecture, uh, a skill called architecture and uh, sculptor. Uh, I can, and architecture is with um, vehicles as well as buildings. Oh. Technically, this is a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Super useful. So yeah. uh, I can use my expert artisan um, title uh, to to basically uh, assess the damage and know exactly where to put the muscle. Uh, so to stop it at, or, st or even stop the flooding or just like halt the process in, in the uh, easier way. Uh, if Daniel would like give me because it's it says like uh whenever you make a test as part of research or a crafting project you use the skill you have from the crafting skill group you can roll twice and use the uh, either roll so research again or crafting projects are down like respite activities i know uh, i will say architecture definitely uh would be uh, applicable here and you've explained that you have worked to patch the hull of the ship before. So I yeah. would give you an edge to that. Now I will say, okay. while the flooding is happening, while the that part of the ship is full of water, that would be giving you a bane to that test. So if you can deal with the flooding oh. first, you will still have water coming in through the leak, but you'll have firmer ground to stand on. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, that's, what, that's why... Yeah, that's that was uh, that's why I was saying like I'm not doing the yeah I'm just okay. looking to and sending like people to the place yeah. that's why okay. I I can okay. offer two things I can offer okay. one calm the people by yeah. lying to them <laughs> and saying everything is fine <laughs> everything's fine yeah it's gonna yeah be okay get yeah, that I, that one I have a pretty good chance of of success. And the other thing that this may maybe uh, Daniel has to help me is I have criminal underworld. I don't know mm -hmm. if that can help with the black powder situation, like knowing how to handle it better. If not, I, mm -hmm. I just have the uh, calming the people. So, uh, the criminal underground would help you. So you would know that Captain Oriel, by smuggling black powder, is risking a tremendous amount, not the just the physical danger that you're currently in, that the black powder may explode. She is breaking the monopoly that one of the houses of capital have over black powder. Uh, oh, wow. Their navy is the only one with cannons, and they guard that secret zealously. Oh. They are willing to send agents all over the world if they believe that uh, their the secret to their superiority is in danger. Um, so it is, yeah, it is more than just physically risky to, to try and smuggle that black powder. But you know that the reward would be similarly great. Uh, it, mm -hmm. People, both Ajax and those opposed to him, would be willing to pay quite a tidy sum to have access to black powder uh, in, their, in their endeavors. Okay. Um... 
Glasses, what's your... Uh, I was what's your idea? Yeah. Your, your ideas? I have alchemy and mechanics. So I think... And also I have the hurl element thing. So I was thinking maybe I can either deal with a fire um, in such a way that I don't make it explode, you know, not make it worse, uh, put it out, or uh, maybe I can come up with some shit that can deal with the flooding. That's going to depend on, on what, you know, Daniel considers that is within the purview of that. I also have mm -hmm. Navigate, so I think that can really help my understanding of how the ship works and all that. And I think that's about it, because um, the other skills that I, I have read person, so in case that none of my stuff is useful, I can maybe hold help manners to tell a more convincing lie. And when 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 uh, when um, persuading uh, the people, the okay. passengers or the panic crew. So that's about it. OK, uh, for my part, I have uh, empathy and uh, leadership. So lead lead. Uh, and also I have blacksmith, so I think I can help also with the fire. Uh, with the black, I, I assume that the blacksmithing will help me with the black uh, black powder or powder. The, all the fire. And mm -hmm. uh, with the empathy and leadership, I can help uh, distract or or uh, calm the calm the people. Uh, I I Actually, don't think I, I need help with the people. Focus on what you can do, because I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I can do this for myself. Go, go. No, the things that I think I think we can split the 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 the, the, the people like exactly. Uh, like manners, you can uh, take care of the crew, like lying to the, the not oh. the crew, the passengers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you lie to the passengers and and um silver, silver. shit, sorry silver. I, I, I you and me can can uh I can help you. Because I also have empathy, uh, read person. Because I've worked with these people, with your you you're the leader, I, and I can uh, sing, and and give like we're we're in this like, and 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 focus the crew. Okay. So we can split that way. So manners, uh, go for the, for the passengers. Uh, I will be the will help on the uh, on the crew. Glasses, uh, focus on the what did you say the, fo the... fire or the flooding. But I think I would prioritize the flooding just because then Kava can deal with the exactly. with the problem yeah. with the hall. With the fire. Yeah. But it's gonna depend on Daniel. Did Daniel consider that I can So I would say alchemy would help you with the black powder. Yeah. Uh mechanics would certainly help you like either improve the pump or make sure it doesn't break. So Ooh, that's clever. Yeah. You could use and mechanics to give an edge to Slayer using the pump to get the water oh, out. Exactly. That. Yeah, that's really good. Exactly. That's really good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. So, so there's a moment where Slayer's is Slayer's like thinking of jumping into the fire. No. And then uh yeah, you explain that no. you've changed your <laughs> worm plate to be as resilient to fire as, as it as him. So he rushes up uh to the stern of the ship and is starting grabbing the long wooden lever and starts uh pushing uh the water out and you will so, you will see the silver is the the, the, the calm uh, exterior uh, uh, oh <laughs> personality yeah. personality it's uh, mm -hmm. that he show and now is a 100 as a soldier giving indication and and, and and guiding all right wonderful who's gonna make the first test i'm going Okay, go. So I'm going to go to the passengers and say, all right, so everyone has heard some things and maybe felt some rumblings in the boat, but you can, you have to understand that this is just the boat uh, shifting gears, uh, putting more speed so we can get to, say, uh, to the city uh, more quickly. So yeah, uh, please. Enjoy these relaxing uh, rumblings that you are going to feel. It's uh, uh, meant to soothe you. So please, uh, don't panic. And I'm rolling. Okay, this is a medium difficulty, which means you want tier All 3 right. for a pure success, tier 2 for success with a consequence. I roll a 7 and an 8 first. Mm -hmm. Then, and uh, this is a lie, so I, I think it's my presence. So uh, this is 15, 17, 19. That, that already is a tier three. 
<laughs> yep. And I'm Incredible. ready to use wow. Lucky Lucky no. Dog if I if it, I need it. Su- yeah, you succeed. You it's so good at lying. Incredibly, despite the the yells of fire from down below, the the passengers, who many of them were up here at, on the deck of the ship and saw your marvelous display of skill. Maybe there's a part of them that wants to believe, and your beguile, beguiling <laughs> presence, your silver tongue, uh, leads them uh, to the kind of, of lie that they want to tell themselves in this moment. That everything's going to be okay. They are but a mile from Black Bottom. They're almost uh, to safety. And so they, uh, the, the two wives who are uh, coming here shortly after their wedding say, Oh, wonderful. I, we can almost see the city. And they rush uh, to the bow of the deck. And uh, Lord John Percival Sutherland says, Oh, uh, wonderful. I, I think I've heard of these contraptions in the newer uh, models. Uh, and also moves forward. And Samuel just sort of nods at you uh, and uh, stays down here uh, and may provide assistance further in thanks to you helping secure uh, his precious private stone heart. So congratulations. That is one... To complete success, everything's going great. As the passengers get out of the way, it will be easier to deal with uh, the panicked crew uh, and the fire now that the passengers are no longer in your way. All right. Great. Um, so I think Slayer now goes with uh, glasses. Yeah. Sure. Glasses. Okay. Give me an easy uh, mechanics test. Uh this isn't as a direct success or failure, but if you succeed, you will give an edge to this to is slay. Reason, isn't it? Yes, yeah. you're you are correct. I should ask a reason mechanics test. Reason, and then so that's uh, plus four because I get plus two because of mechanics. Mm-hmm. So go. Oh yeah! Oh yes! Incredible! Ooh. Yes! Awesome. So you head down into the the lower decks. Uh, And you see the long wooden tube that you know uh, has uh, some leather valves set so that water can rush up uh, along it as Slayer is is pumping the lever. And you... It's not in perfect condition. Wooden pumps never are. They have places where they leak and they have to be patched and repaired. Uh, And what you're able to do is you are able to quickly reinforce them with some... uh, pitch some tar to make uh, those sections waterproof and because you got a a tier 3 which means you get success with a reward you are also able to tell uh, that some of those sections where the pitch is stored are is very close to the fire approaching it you're able to get it uh, out of the way which means that the fire while it's bad it doesn't immediately catch a very flammable substance here Ooh. and therefore it doesn't get uh, worse so I'm going to give an edge to helping deal with the fire uh, al- along with the edge that Slayer is going to have now to deal with yeah. the flooding. Do, yeah. Does anybody else want to roll for Slayer? I will say Slayer has a two might and uh, they have the endurance skill, which uh, I will uh, allow to add to this as they are going to be pumping for a very long time because a lot of water has gotten in here. So it's 2d10 two two plus 4, right? Yeah. I, uh, yes, I and an go. edge, so it's plus 6. It's a plus 6? Wow. Yes. Skills give a plus 2, but it's not an edge, so they can stack. So this is very close to the maximum roll that can be uh, nice. achieved at this level. So I'm going to roll for uh, for Slayer, and by oh, the well. way, Juan, I'm so sorry if go bad. <laughs> it went very good. 17. Exactly tier 3. You see, Slayer, accustomed to holding weapons of war, uh, accustomed to tearing skulls, <laughs> is almost, there's, there's a sensation of boredom as he's just pumping this huge handle and lever. And there's a moment where a leak uh, pressure is starting to build inside, and you see as the as the pitch that you added to the outside begins to bubble as water is beginning to come out. Uh, it, that edge that you gave glasses is exactly what was needed. You are able to, uh, with your mind, grab a blob of pitch, launch it at the at the area, and reinforce it with your mind, creating like a a psionic sheath for a moment to keep the pressure stable and uh, it dries out and with that the water is able to uh, to pump through the flooding diminishes meaning that it will yes. be easier to move through the lower decks uh, get to the leaks 
and that is another unmitigated success. It is two successes, no failures. Incredible. It's up to you, Diego, now. Your turn, I Diego. actually think that it's better for Silver to go now. Because uh, I'm going to need help yeah, from okay. the crew. Yeah. To actually, like, I'm going to know, I like, to do all the things. And now because uh, you don't need to be a hero to be... Because of the, the, the fl flooding is lowered, like, the crew can help me. So if you can rally the crew, the crew and I'm... And actually, <laughs> it's just for flavor. Uh, Kava's gonna stand beh behind you and start and start like, uh, like humming, you, you, <laughs> like That's when awesome. you start before you start uh, actually. So uh, like giving your I speech. believe I, I see I see that you go. No no no! I, I was I was to ask if I can try to help you with a reading person, maybe try to read the room, to whisper you say this. And you use your lead skill. Hmm. So that would be possible, but you've already used your your turn in this uh, All right. in this round. So if you want right. to wait for the lead skill until the next one, you could uh, manners could use you uh, read person to give you an edge on your lead test. I would uh, love that, but uh, I think that we are uh, against you, you, the time, so I need to Man, add right you're, now. You're, so you're, what's a uh, you see empathy. Uh, what's what I see on the on the crew? Uh, I, I think lead is better, right? Yeah. Right now, but it, it depends what you. Yeah. This is we're, for flavor. Yeah. You're seeing panic in their face, as taking on water is always bad. Mm -hmm. But also, you realize the crew is extremely loyal to Captain Oriole. They knew what she was doing. They know the danger. Even if they manage to get the water out of the ship, if the fire reaches the hold, they're all dead. So, and uh, fighting fire in, in inside of a ship is much harder. Like, they have a pump to get water out. They know how to hammer in planks to try and stop the leaks. But the fire is its what's driving them to... They're going to die. So, Silver will uh, use his uh, voice just to to get that attention from, from everyone. And just uh, tell them that don't, don't let them get that scared uh, that... Uh, like you said, the, uh, uh, you owe to the captain your your loyalty. Do you, uh, we can, uh, 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 we can Overcome. get a, uh, we can get uh, this uh, done. Uh, everyone is helping, and we need your help also to to get this uh, fixed and start to give uh, some orders like uh, you and you go to the lower deck help on. On, on the floor, you and you help with the fire. Move, move, move. Wonderful. So go ahead and make a presence test. Uh, oh you can shit. add lead. Like uh, shit, my presence is plus one. Okay. I You could probably, um, because you're ordering them specifically to, uh, to locations, you could also do that with reason. Because, yeah. yes, you are trying to inspire them, but you are not trying to rise courage in them. No. You are trying no. to direct them to the best exactly. place. Like literally, the two of I'm you a do this thing. I'm a give yes. indications. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that final one. twist that you did of your of your explanation, yeah, that means you can also use reason. So it's uh, so to the ten. Reason, plus and four. you can add lead plus four. Yes, this is a medium test. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Fifteen. That is uh, a tier two, tier two, which means it is a success. There is a consequence. The consequence is not a failure. You have achieved a third success. So as you're uh, directing the, the the crew to move around, uh, several of them uh, get into formation around Kava. They gather the, the lumber and the timber, ready to go set the, the patch. In the time it takes you to organize them, mm -hmm. the fire spreads, and now it's right on the... It's begun to spread into the hold. You're going to have to basically run in, and if you get a, a failure or a consequence uh, with dealing with the fire, it could be dire. Like, maybe right. not all the black powder blows, but uh, it's bad. Got it. So you are at three successes with zero failures. Um, 
And, and, uh, and, and as soon as I have the, 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 the crew rally, I'm going to look at uh, Kava and just say, let's go. And Kava actually nods, but still continue like singing. Oh, oh, oh. This music is so good. <laughs> I'm really oh, dense. Oh, oh. And, it's, it, and, and you see the, the crew, uh, he's trying to like look at the crew and, and, and walking with the rhythm. Uh, and when, uh, basically I'm just gonna use uh, the architecture skill um, with reason, uh, trying to not only get like telling exactly how like I know people, I know the people that can fix things. I'm, I'm like, I'm giving like not only instructions, I'm helping the people I know where they need to be helped, but also because, and this is the, the main part, I'm trying to figure out like the the importance of this, the, the where to actually go and fix things. Like this Perfect. is a triage of, of mm -hmm. repairs. I'm not trying to like, to do a, a, yeah. a big thing right now. I'm just Literally, going like where the, to the go ship first. just needs to last another mile. Like it exactly. just has to stay yeah. afloat to get to the, to the docks. <laughs> Basically. So I'm gonna do that. Um, Wonderful. So go ahead and give me your the reason. Oh, so okay, I rolled a four and a ten on the die. That's a fourteen plus two to reasons and sixteen plus two of architecture. That's uh, eighteen. Wonderful. So with a tier three result, you are able to as the water level is dropping from the continued uh, uh, bilge uh, pumping that Slayer is doing getting uh, water out, you are able to address each leak as it becomes more accessible as the flooding di uh, dissipates. And you have a moment where you realize if you change things just slightly, you can make sure that more water accumulates where the fire is and halt is its advance. You make that adjustment and the uh, bane that you would have, that you got from the consequence from the last test, you're able to negate that, which right. means you still have one edge from the alchemy test that no the mechanics test that uh okay glasses did so water uh soaks through the top two leaks are are patched the the water continues starts dropping faster and faster as it's uh, coming in slower and you are able to douse some of the planks of the deck uh that will hopefully slow the fire down so let's go back you've dealt with the panicked crew Mm -hmm. You've dealt with the leaks, you've dealt with the flooding, and you've dealt with the passengers. All that's left is the fire and the black powder. Okay. About you have five turns, and you only need two successes. So, find ways to help each other, is my advice. Yeah. Uh, about the fire. Uh, we finish. We start a new, a new turn, right? Yes. About the fire. Uh, this is a mechanical question for you, Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dragon Knight Dragon Pride, what is, it is, what I, I'm using, is just a force uh, push? I think so, yes. It's it's not a, there is not an elemental, like, exhalation. It is the sound of your cry, and there is there is an innate magic to the Dragon Knight that so, is ex exuded in that way. I, I From where I am, uh, I'm going to... A flavor that I'm going to gel to to glasses and ask a mechanical question because mm -hmm. she knows more about this kind of stuff than me. If <laughs> my if my, if I use my roar, that that will help dissipate the fire or will it spread it? Would I know the answer to that? I think yeah. You are able to say that if used in the right location you would be able to push the fire back for a moment to yeah. areas where it's already burned through, where there is less oxygen, and that would cause it to lessen. Uh, in the time that, that you're doing this, uh, some of the uh, crew that is no longer panicking have replaced Slayer mm -hmm. up uh, at the pump, and Slayer is now with you, able to provide assistance if required. Cool. Okay, so basically I cry that back to you, like, if you, if you cry in the, in the areas in which the, the, the fire has already burned, you can do so and it shouldn't spread. No tell! I'm, uh, so, I think I'm going it, to do is it. the intention that Glasses makes a test here to give you an edge in dealing with the fire later? 
You know, I, I haven't think about that, but she if she want. <laughs> Actually, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty good yeah. idea because that would mean two edges to deal with the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So uh, glasses, you can give me a, a reason uh, test, and I believe you could add alchemy to that as yeah. you're trying to determine where is the the best place to try and halt the the spread of. Yeah, and I'm using the fire. data pad to help me calculate. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're <laughs> analyzing. <laughs> yeah, position. temperature. There's a moment where glasses' is glasses suddenly shift into thermal vision. <laughs> Yeah. And you see a, a different <laughs> rainbow uh, of of colors. If I need if I need to be on the fire and get damaged, yeah. I, I will do that. So oh yeah, and I can I can incorporate that into mm -hmm. the calculations exactly. as well. Yeah, you know, but you you're not gonna get that. Well. Oh, that was so bad. Uh, that's 11. just an eleven, which I think it's tier one. Yeah. So you're trying. It is so complicated to model the expansion yeah. of fire inside mm. by the time you're starting to get some results back the fire has already spread this is not a failure uh but you are unable to provide uh an edge yeah. uh, in this test really? now slayer is willing to go in and help you as they are he is oh. also resistant sure. to to fire so silver if you're willing he is uh willing to like jump in with you to try and block the the fire Good. you can also start trying to deal with the black powder but the way you deal with the black powder is different depending on how controlled the fire is so you can choose you can yeah. choose that at the end uh, 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 that's what silver is thinking uh, we can control the the black powder but if the fire is spread it won't help any anything we need yeah. to reduce the fire i agree yeah yeah risk it i'm going to risk it's it it's gonna take me too long yeah Risk okay. it for the biscuit. So, yep. is that uh, my normal dragon pride without any edge, right? No, I have an edge. You have one edge. Uh, one Slayer edge. hasn't spent their turn, so uh, yeah, go ahead and, and make it. And if you fail, Slayer could try and find another way to, to maybe deal with the fire. So um, I, I look at back at, uh, at uh, Slayer to cover me and just mm -hmm. without say any specific word, just big a, me, a, a big uh, roar to the to the fire. And that's a 20! That's Incredible. so good! So, oh. glasses, you're trying to figure out, there's, you can't, you're trying to determine where to send silver. <laughs> and as you're, you're trying to get these calculations, silver, you realize there's no time. You can't wait for the smart place to go. You just <laughs> have to do it. And you leap into the flames, and this wow. roar resounds. And all of you see a Dragon Knight still in shining armor, the flames reflected uh, on the plates, jump into what frankly looks and smells a bit like hell. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then the flames are spread open like a, a blast of concussive air as you hear the roar resound. And there's a moment as the crew is moving and they hear that noise and they they feel a moment of hope as the flames are pushed back and then Slayer comes in right behind you and starts uh, laying down like heavy planks uh, blankets and puts out the, the embers that were still uh, slightly burning uh, after your roar and you are able to contain the fire and it is if you, if you have but a few more moments uh, it will be you know what it's tier 3 yeah I yep. think I think you just succeed. You you dealt with the fire so well. No, there is there is some black powder that you see uh, has spilled from Shit. the the rocking of the waves. Yeah, yeah. Most of the hold is fine. Uh, the the fire is in no danger of reaching it. But there is a section of black powder that is uh, po a possible danger, or that you might. There's a moment we realize you could just get it out. Like. Mm -hmm get it out of here it'll be less <coughs> income for the captain but you could you could do it and when you say get it the, out, like, sorry, 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 sorry. has split out is out of the box or any out of the kind crates. of yeah yeah container yeah i cannot teleport that thing out no we need to just get it or yeah kind of, we contain some by the way uh, because it was so, a tier three now the fire is frightened by me until the end of the turn mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Indeed. gasps> uh, 
Like, a Miyazaki flame. Ah! Yeah. Who calls it for here? Um, uh, so I, you I think actually... you could you could try and gather some of the uh, the black powder and push it back deeper into the hold. It won't be nicely packed, but it'll be in less danger. Or you could just yeah, you could you think you could if you will you could teleport out over the water and mm -hmm. just kind of drop it. Uh, but you see, Captain Oriel is there with you. She would resist. Like it would be more of a convincing the captain to let you do it. <laughs> than actually just teleporting it out. That that part's easy. Hmm. Uh, shit. I, 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 can, I can try to lie to her <laughs> or intimidate her. Oh, yeah. In, on, she I, she I, could I be intimidated. I, I don't know if I can do anything anymore, uh, anything else because I use my turn, so... You, uh, you uh, could uh, give uh, ideas. Uh, Slayer yeah. is willing to like also help grab the powder and push it back. Uh, Slayer my, has my, the my, lift my, skill. My first so. instinct is doing that, but if I see that it's too risky, uh, mm -hmm. I will start to just uh, confront the the captain, hoping uh, that uh, everyone there's... anyone can. So the the people that still have turns here are Slayer, Kava, and Manners. Mm -hmm. So you can you could literally fail twice in dealing with the black powder, and still have another turn oh, to. Shit. Try and oh, deal all right, I, I'm, I'm yeah, going to try to intimidate the captain so we can do this. <coughs> before right. before you do that, I'm, I want to give you an edge. So I want to give you an edge to manners, but uh, the way I'm going to give an edge to a manners is I'm going to use uh, read person and empathize to like literally I. It, this is um, this is not what act. It's normal. Like Kava's not gonna use uh, do this normally, but in the dire situation, he uses read person and uh, empathize to find the weakness. Like to he usually uses that to empower people, but now he's gonna like he he need he knows something needs to be done, and this is mm -hmm. something it's, this is pride. So uh, Kava's gonna f like follow manners behind like he's gonna be behind him, looking at the captain and. And reading exactly what's happening to give, like, a, a tip or like the, so the tell that the captain has. I will say this, because you guys have been so successful in saving the ship, this is a hard test. Like convincing the captain that there is no hope and you have to dump some of the black powder is more difficult <laughs> now because you've been so successful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. Like she's literally seeing the fire being pushed back, the water being flooded, so it's going to be more difficult. So. Yeah, going ahead and on getting this test uh, is going to be uh, so. Yes. Can, so can I control. try to give the edge? Yes, you can. So right. uh, give me a, an intuition, read person or empathize test as your. Okay, that's uh, <laughs> that's an eight and a seven. Uh, hey, 15, what, Seventeen plus four. Nice. Oh, Nineteen. War tier three. Yeah. All right. So you get a a full success in this moment as you are. Describe as the captain is like next to you and she is gesturing at like we have to get get this powder back We have to it. It's we're doing we're doing great, but we need to how do you like stop uh, her in this moment? I, and I imagine like literally Kava has never stopped singing mm -hmm. But when he comes near to the captain he you you hear him um, um, And looks at her and looks finds the stairs and says wait Wait, and he's trying to he's trying not to say anything just to to interrupt her in long enough to understand like What is more precious the car like the black powder the crew the the money the I'm um, he, she's he's trying to like find all that Okay, so there's a moment where She's she's just like and then she sees your looming presence in front of her she stops and is looking into your eyes and you see she knows that there is no cargo as precious as life it is in this moment okay. she believes she can have both uh, <laughs> and your looming presence and the, the connection you've had there's a moment where
it's it's I, I mean it's like Indiana Jones trying to reach for the for the Holy Grail uh, at at the end of the movie, and is like it had all almost slipped out of her fingers, and she believes she can have it all. She can, and there's a moment where you see her in her youth, having had this success. She has had she has been able to smuggle this before, and had tremendous success. Perhaps the kind of success that allowed her to be the captain of this ship, and she was all trying right. to do it again. There's not enough passengers on the ship to make it profitable. The only way she was going to be able to pay everyone was getting this done. And there's a moment where you just give her a moment and she realizes most of the black spatter will still get there. It's it's the difference of, you know, most if you were hoping for 100 million, 80 yeah. million is still a lot. Exactly. It's still a lot, yeah, come on. Yeah. It's, it's, not, and, it's not that and, we're and going you, to dump everything. Yeah. No. Yeah, like... but but uh, when that happens, uh, Kava looks at uh, Manners uh, and says, "The crew is is more important," and he and he just like stands behind you. It's almost like a whisper. He tries to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh... no, sorry, just the crew is more important. I saw greed in her eyes, and that's it. Oh, the magic words. <laughs> Slayer still hasn't taken a turn. Yeah. Do you want, like, Slayer could try and get uh, some of the the heavier crates back out and away from, from danger uh, to basically, like, show that the most of the black powder is still going to be safe? Or he can help carry it out and throw it overboard if you want. Can I like, go <laughs> with the intimidation only to for her to not interrupt whatever we are going to do? Either sure. try to sell, save the black powder or yeah. throw it overboard. I don't want her to just say anything. Sure. Yes. So yes. give me a, a presence uh, intimidation test with, in with intimidate. Another one, right? Uh, my question is, you still have to actually deal with the black powder. So your test would give us would give an edge on dealing with the black powder, but. It's still going to be Slayer finally in the end, like Yeah, alright. Yeah, oh, so, so I can I can okay. help with the with the teleport thing. Yeah. Alright. So uh, I roll and uh, this is a uh, thirteen plus two plus two. So that's seventeen? Correct. That is a tier three. Uh sure. Oh. With that <laughs> you you see as she was trying to secure everything you get her to stop and she looks around at you looks at kava looks at silver uh finally like pushing the fire out of this room there are still just a few glowing embers uh but there's a few sparks that are uh flying that are possibly dangerous and she just sort of nods and goes back up to the uh, upper deck uh and is going to be like helping to finish patching the ship get the flooding dealt with and has basically said, like, what happens with this is up to you. And she has communicated how important it is to her, but it's up to you. So, tell me what Slayer is going to be doing. Is he, whatever he is, he, is, he has uh, an edge on this. In fact, maybe two edges because okay. you didn't use an yeah, you didn't use one for for your. I will, I will say so. if the fire is mostly controlled, uh, try, try to save the, the, the most uh, uh, black powder possible. Yeah. Lifting, using lift. Yeah. So, yeah. someone, this is, this is Slayer with Might, which is two, Lift, which is another two, so four, and two edges, so whatever it is goes up a tier. A tier, awesome. Who's rolling? So this is, I rolled that the last this time. is a medium test. Alejandro. Means, yeah. Go, Alejandro. Yeah, roll. roll for Slayer. As Slayer begins grabbing the the, the crates, writing them back up, there's some barrels <laughs> with powder spilled. What? And that's a four and a four. Eight. Eight. Plus, Plus twelve. Three, it's 12. Four, twelve, which is exactly tier two. Yes. When with two edges, the two edges it goes up to tier, tier three. three. Oh! So, that is exactly all what plan. you needed. All plan. Oh, yeah, That's all, all, everything's everything plan. under control. Wow. Everything's yeah. under control. There's a moment <laughs> where you see a spark 
comes flying <laughs> from over uh, Silver's shoulder, uh, right as Slayer is lifting up uh, a barrel with a loose lid and slams the lid, but there is still powder around it. It lands on the top of the lid, and Slayer just slams their head <laughs> in between, and you hear a small. <laughs> Ouch! And he lifts it back awesome. up, and there's a small mark, and he continues and. You manage to prevent any greater conflagration, any explosion, as you save the black powder. Some of it presumably will have to be, like, scooped up with a broom. Uh, some of it might need drying uh, if it got particularly wet. But uh, you, incredibly, achieve six successes. No Whoa. failures. No failures. <laughs> as you save... How? A, you have a total success. Congratulations. So, Yay. everyone helps in the effort to save the ship, from the captain to all able passengers, and you see even Private Stoneheart uh, is flinning around <laughs> and using their their melodious uh, trill to call people uh, back up and uh, organized. Mercy. With quick thinking and even quicker hands, yeah, let's show Private Stoneheart just because of how beautiful that is. Uh, image is as no. you see that beautiful Yay. golden bird Yay. flitting around, helping people navigate uh, through the through the hold. There's with quick thinking and quicker hands, you repair the worst of the damage and prevent the dangerous cargo in the hold from exploding. When all is done, the revelation isn't completely ship shaped, but she'll get you safely to port. And with that, the tense music fades. As wind fills your sails, and uh, after a, a moment passes where everything is under control, Captain Oriel uh, approaches all of you, looks uh, at the group and says, I, I didn't tell you because I thought if you didn't know, you wouldn't be implicated. It turns out that was a stupid idea. <sighs> I've had this for a long time. It saved my life on many occasions. She takes out a knife from her belt and gives it to you. I hope it will save more lives in your hands. And you get your first real Magic item? Magic item. No <laughs> way. The fuck? What? No We've way. For a total success. Like a, what? That's so awesome. You get the knife of nine. No. It is a light blade. Glasses. It is immediately evident to you that this yeah. weapon has psionic abilities. Uh, when this, when the knife is used with a weapon ability, it deals an additional three psychic damage. And that damage increases by three each time the same target is attacked during the encounter, to a maximum of nine. Wow. So, yes, it is an ivory dagger with nine faintly glowing indentations along the blade. So interesting. And I'm using, like, the data pad to, like, uh, get the specs on it. <laughs> and I'm like, so interesting. Has some, some psionic powers to it. I don't think my people created this, but somebody here did. I think this will be perfect for you, and I I offer it to Manners. Oh, this sur uh, surely is a well-crafted blade. Uh, I will accept this gift. Uh, are you sure, uh, uh, Silver? Don't don't you want to try it first? No. Or do you think it looks better in my graceful hands? I think you are better with knife than me. I'm more blunt. I agree with that assessment. If we get a sword, it's yours. Mm, don't worry. I won't leave mine and pat my my uncle's sword. We will see. <clears throat> uh, <This is> so cool. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say thank, uh, to, to the captain, uh, thank you, and um, I, I that I understand that uh, when someone is on need, maybe do some some stuff that shouldn't be um safe mm -hmm. thinking of my upbringing 
Um, Indeed. But, but that I understand. Just for the next time, try to be more aware of the of the possible circumstances and problem that can happen. She nods her head. Uh, in that moment, Silver, you see as you're approaching Black Bottom, two very large birds have been flying overhead, and you notice they're getting bigger as they come to a landing as the revelation lands at the docks. Okay. Giant S hawks land on uh, the tops of buildings near you. Sorry, uh, Silver is right now, um, and, and the rest of the group will see that. Uh, as soon as he see that, uh, he will uh, try to go inside the, the ship. Sure. Uh, so all of you see as your the brave dragon knight heads uh, under and onto the, the deck uh, into the hold uh, and would that mean have any meaning for Kava has Kava yeah you've been you are from the barrowman of Andrew right of this of Vastori yeah. so yeah, yeah. you know the hawk lords uh, depending on how long you've been gone if it's been more than 15 years you you might know uh, that the once proud and independent uh, riders of hawks from their uh, mountain Erie have been subjugated by Ajax and forced to enforce mm. his rule, serve as his eyes uh, and messengers throughout this domain. Uh, Silver, you could have told people this, exactly. or other yep. people can give me a, a culture or history te reason test. In fact, what uh, Sirius will try to do is he's he is uh, getting inside, but he tried to look at the rest of the group to follow him and, and explain that. Because he has some personal um, knowledge about this, considering that mm -hmm. they are uh, a a a agents, and maybe they will uh, try to um, inspect the ship when we arrive. And... I'm worried that what happen if they see me. Indeed. So, uh, Silver explains to the rest of the group that out in the villages of, of Andrum and other parts of Vasloria, when a dragon knight is spotted and someone turns them in for the reward, often it is the hawk lords that arrive to take the dragon knight. Uh, so we have to keep a low profile. That Indeed. and I, I that I trust on of the uh, the ship crew and the ship captain, but greedy people is greedy. If they dare to double cross you with the luck that we have on our side, I would fear for their fates, not ours. I don't. I, I, We've been very lucky thus far. Honestly, I don't blame them. Uh, everyone is needed. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, everyone ha have needs. But... No, that's true. <sighs> I don't want to be a burden. You never are, my friend. Persecution yeah. is not a burden you carry. It's a, a cross they carry. Don't try to use their weight in your shoulders. Uh, I like you. Are you sure you don't want to join the the chain? We are always welcoming, you know, capable people like you are. I don't think that we can have people on our name. We we can talk to the to the to the officers. Maybe they, uh, they will they will agree. So no recruits. I, I think the senior officers are on the city. Maybe we could. I, ask them I thank you for the invitation, but I. I've seen my fate, and even though there is fight, and it's still not clear, but I don't see me as a part of something bigger. I just protect. By the way, uh, Silver, can you give me a summary what you said? To us about the 
de Hacklords. So, eh, for what I, for what eh, this is Jose trying to remember because I lost the the, 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 the notes. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the Hacklords work right now for Ajax. Yeah. They enforce their, uh, their their order, uh, and literally they, it's make make the Ajax presence know when they are. They oh. also uh, um, when they they spot a dragon knight, they are the ones to come and, and get capture them. the dragon. Yeah, and yeah. Be, be, because Ajax want to get rid of us. All right, so. It's safe to say that we have to keep a low profile, and even if you say that you are doomed, I don't see why you cannot have some fun with us while you await for your inevitable death. So, times when you say why, that, what you about scare me? you don't let us uh, <laughs> maybe treat you a drink, get a, get to a tavern, something somewhere nice. Maybe we speak with the senior officers, maybe we don't. You are not obligated. We would love you to have you. But if you don't want to, it's alright. I think well, you'll help me protect people, so I'll be with you for a while. But if I need to protect others, I prefer my freedom. Sounds good. I will be with you guys. Just Manners. Uh, help me in any case. Sure. You are the scariest creature I've ever seen. You could convince someone to sell their mother for a good price. <laughs> I may say this as a compliment. Uh, who? Me? Yes. Oh. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I really tried. Yes, I can tell. Wonderful. I'm sorry, this is gonna be the worst fucking reference I, I've said in a while, but I just, you just remembered me of Vendo mi propia madre from Plan Seda. It's just, that's the yeah. ch most Chilean, it's most like a Chilean. Antique. Well, technically, we're playing this during like national holiday. Yeah. So we're, we're like, on oh. theme. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Super I just, 90 I'm sorry. stuff from Chile. Though. I just imagined manners like. Yeah. I'm selling your mom. <laughs> like, not even my mom. I'm <laughs> your mom. <laughs> so you so want good. to buy your mom? <laughs> yeah. So it seems. So it seems. With that moment of, of national pride, uh, we're going to take a quick uh, pause for a bio break. Okay. Yeah. And then we will return uh, and deal with your arrival at the docks and these hawk lords uh, that are watching. <laughs> and we're back. Now joined by lovely Juanin, who hey. is now taking control of Slayer after the wonderful interventions that Slayer had during the montage test. We are now in Act 3 of Bay of Blackbottom, the finish line. Uh, even as the ship is arriving in Blackbottom Harbor, the heroes are not yet in the clear. We return to the heroes uh, right under the, the... in the lower deck as Silver is explaining to the others the dangers of the hawk lords mm -hmm. and their history with the dragon knights yeah what i'm what i'm worried about <laughs> is not only my case but uh the fact that if they get inside on the ship and inspect it they will see the black powder and that's will mean problems with with for the captain the crew everyone oh you're right we need to make sure that Ajax, Ajax does not get this powder. What if I run? Don't run. Just stay put, act normally, and maybe hide behind the big guy. That's true. And even if anything happens, we can just kill everybody, and that is a great solution. Mm. I would have to agree, actually. I don't see the problem with that. You know, my bag is kind of empty, actually. I need more skulls. So I'm looking for some. That'd be a great idea. But yeah, mm -hmm. hide behind me. I'll cover you. Thanks, my friend. 
The problem is that hawks fly. They are not the only ones. Don't worry. <laughs> Why I was born without wings? Wait, you don't have wings? Nope. I, I, I show you my back. I have never been without wings. I have tail, not the wings. Hmm. Don't worry, it's nothing to be uh, jealous of. Uh, I mean, the, mine look rather majestic, but I have to say you, uh, 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 finding shirts for this kind of wings is kind of a pain, actually. I understand, exactly. the same with the pants. I, I, I have uh, to buy uh, some shirts that you bottom on the front and on the back, so they accommodate to, to my wings. Can we focus, guys? I don't wear shirts. <laughs> yeah, you hear the steps uh, on the planks as the revelation has reached the docks, has been tied down, a plank has been extended from the ship onto the docks, uh, and you you hear uh, the hawk lords have gotten off their hawks and are walking towards you. And... Uh, <clears throat> Okay. You you hear their voices and they're concerned. It seems in their flight they saw the smoke and agents of Ajax, though they may be, they are concerned with the people here. They, you hear their voice uh, and if any of you are seeing their faces, you see their, their, their concern is clear. And they say, is everyone safe? We can help with the wounded. What, what happened here? <coughs> It's all good. Hawk words, elite guards of Ajax. It's all good. Uh, uh, all problems have been contained. We were attacked by pirates, but the people are safe and the ship has arrived. Uh, uh, so this is a <clears throat> presence test. This is a hard presence test, which means <clears throat> only the, the highest tier, tier 3, uh, will they accept this explanation at face value and leave. They are quite determined to figure out what's happened here. Can I add something or a straight? Sure. Uh, and others can can aid uh, in some way that that you may see fit. If you uh, want to intervene in this moment. Relevant skills that I have are intimidate, intimidate, lie, read person. I think those are the three that Maya play here. Hmm. I don't know if lie actually applies because I was I mean truthful. if you're telling them everything's fine you have no need to get more involved <laughs> that's definitely a lie because you know yeah. for a fact there is contraband <laughs> on this contraband, ship yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait <laughs> hey, hey I'm gonna take the lie uh, by but, the way uh, is lie part of the intrigue skill group I don't I think Sadly, so. on the mm. on the character sheet that I am using right now a one from it's interpersonal uh, Interpersonal and yeah. what what should be hmm. intrigue? Yeah, alertness, it, alertness, concealing, one. disguising, eavesdrop, hiding, performance, pick lock, pickpocket, sabotage, search, sneak, and track. And no, no skills are playing here. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so I... does anyone else uh, want to get involved? Silver, you know that it is common for dragon knights to be. To wear hoods, scarves, mm -hmm. like disguises for them to move around. So you could, like, your voice will not immediately betray that you are a dragon. God. So you could speak uh, Good. if you want. Oh, I, I, I do have something, <clears throat> by, by the way. I have Silver Tongue. Ooh. You gain an edge when attempting to discover an NPC motivations and pitfalls during negotiations. That is a could be very, very relevant very soon. Ah, but this is not, not yet. No. Hmm. All right. I think I have read person. So if that serves in any way, shape, or form, sure. I would like to help. Yeah, I'll kind of uh. like read them and try to maybe like whisper to manners some some like idea of where to press or, or how to how to go about this. <clears throat> uh, I think give me an intuition uh, <clears throat> test and you can add read person. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, intuition is my other plus two. But, come on! Could I? Oh. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> Wait, what is it? One eleven. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, yeah. Now you know. You, uh, I think no, nothing bad happens when you get uh, on an aid. Uh, let, let me check. Let me check what happens in the aid test maneuver. Uh, but yes, you are unable to like. You can see there's concern, but you don't know if it's concerned because they're trying to do their job, because they're worried about the people. Like you, you can't get deeper into the uh, what could be motivating them in this moment. Yeah. So presence with lie. Unless could someone I... else wants to come right in at this moment. What could I support? Um, sorry, could I support Manners' lie by grabbing the head of this uh, of the pirate that I beheaded at the end of the previous uh, at the end of the oh, previous session, so toss it on the ground. There was a leader. Kind of intimidate thing. Yeah, yeah. You say uh, intimidate. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think. Yeah, that would be a presence test, which you can definitely add uh, intimidate. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, presence. I have a plus one. So that's gonna be a two d two d ten. Yeah, two d ten plus three. Yeah. Two d ten plus three. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. oh, that sucked. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that sucked real bad. Has <laughs> out. What's Man, happened here? May, maybe let me just lie to these guys. <laughs> I was, I was, I was adding up to your lie, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Indeed. Yeah. So, you it, it, I'm sorry about that. They, you see their faces as they, as you reveal that in fact, they had seen that a pirate ship had been firing upon the, mm -hmm. uh, the revelation. But clearly, great violence was exerted and happened on this ship. So they are even like, they are quite uh, insistent that they have to get involved here. Mm. Go ahead and, and make your your. It's a hard presence test, and you can add. The I got this. Lie. I got this. Go. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think I got it. <laughs> no. So that's at uh, 12 plus 2 plus 2. So that's 16. 6, 16. Sure now two. we need an, uh, 17. Okay. Oh, fuck, so and close. things are worse. Um, because uh, I, I did indeed find the, the page for assisting a test. And on an 11 or lower... You get in the way or make things worse, which means the creature takes a bane on their test. So that's two banes. And that happened twice. So that is two banes, which means your tier two result is one. in fact a tier one result. Shit. As You're not helping, guys. <laughs> You're yeah. not helping. As, you as they see a time raider, <laughs> a like you see these hawklers probably have seen devils before. They know yeah, they're yeah. around. But a time raider is something even rarer, and that's a very strange thing to see on a ship, even a oh. ship from Capital. Uh, and then Slayer tosses the skull onto the. It's it's the head the actually. It's still not a yeah. skull, but. Oh yeah, just the head, the bloody yeah. head. So. There, the Hawk Lords move forward, uh, and one of them stays and whistles. And you see as guards begin to come out uh, of the ship, and they say, stay here. Look. We're going to inspect the, the ship. We'll take care of the wounded. Don't move. Wait, 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 wait. There Look, is no need the, for this. Exactly. The people is safe. Everyone is safe. Shh. I'm extending my wings. <laughs> Shh. Uh, so, you see, the captain is kind of looking at you and says, just... Let my let the crew off the 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 the, the ship, uh, and goes. They they can step aside and uh, be held at, at a holding area as we deal help deal with any wounded, uh, but you and they point at the captain uh, are not allowed to leave, uh, and they look at the all of you and go, are they on the crew, and 
Captain, uh, the captain sort of turns and goes, would, would she say your crew or would she say your passengers? She hired you to be mm -hmm. part of the crew. Yeah. He says, uh, these are guards. Uh, they, I, I hired them to be on the watch for pirates, uh, as you saw, clearly needed. Uh, fine. They can, they can move on to the holding area. So if you guys want, like you, you think it's probably going to be easier for you to escape from the holding area, but this ship is getting searched and everything that that means. Oh shit! I, I would like to try to stop that. Uh, you cannot stop it with, without violence, but uh, you believe that you could convince them if they don't find the the black powder. Like, you can uh, begin a negotiation and convince them. Let's see. On an 11 or lower, which mm. is the, the tier they get, that you got, the Hawk Lord search the revelation, uh, find the black powder, and move to arrest Captain Ori. So, if you guys are starting to do this. Then you, I, I, I have I think a question. As, yeah. I have a question. The, the Hawk Lords. Mm -hmm. Are the, the the big tokens that we see on the on the maps, right? The people that we are yes. talking about right now are not uh, them. No, they their hawks have landed and are off to on the docks. Yeah, they move down and are uh, talking to you here. But but the, the uh, what I mean is uh, the giant <clears throat> hawks. They are not on their giant hawks at the moment. But they are the. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Okay. The, the two in front there. of you, those are the Hawk Lords. Yeah. That was the reason I say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Jesus. Yeah, so, 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 okay. I, I cannot I try have... to negotiate or anything uh, with you, these people. Well, you can try and intervene before they, they find the black powder, but they are arresting the captain. Like, the captain is being enough of a nuisance that uh, they are being arrested. All right. So okay, and this and is... un unless you intervene, like the place is uh, is going to be searched. Okay, so there, there's one thing that's kind of so this is a uh, important thing for Kava said this. So this is you know this is the motivation for Kava. Kava right now doesn't the captain is not the priority. Is that that the black powder doesn't get to Ajax. So like that is more important than the captain's life right now, because like, so this is Diego speaking. I know mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. your characters wouldn't know this. Like, she get got in this mess, fuck her. But if Aja gets this, mm. so many people are gonna die. That like, yeah. that this is the important thing. Yeah, I have, I have a question, mm -hmm. for uh, from the setting. Do. The hack, the hack lords are the embodiment of Ajax's influence. But I remember that this is one of the last free cities. Indeed. So they really don't have authority here. More like we are the fucking, uh, I don't know, embodiment of Ajax's power here. Correct. Uh, and you know that while they are mm. acting under his authority, they, they were a previous organization before Ajax. Ajax much yeah. like the the dwarves of Ka of Kas Kalavar, like Ajax took them over, like forced them to submit. They lived on their mountain Erie. None could challenge them. They could roam the skies. I and remember then that the, the flying high... city arrived on top. I remember said, like, that the lords of the High Erie were once champions of freedom, and I don't remember what kind of authority you have to inspect this ship. Do you have a warrant or something? So do you, we are do going you have to a, any means uh, to get her uh, under captivity to detain her? We are do going you to read her the, her rights. There, so Miranda <laughs> rights are not a thing in, in order. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to start a negotiation. <laughs> Listen, that's if cool. you conquer the world, you can do what you want. I love it. <laughs> you yeah, can, yeah. You can get no, rights, that's our uh, next. Passed. That's our next campaign. <laughs> yeah. Once uh, we get the full rules. We're going to begin a negotiation as the captain uh, is looking at you. The Hawk Lords currently have an interest of one. They are tolerating you. They are fairly patient. They they acknowledge, yes, they are not 
uh, inhabitants of of Black Bottom, but yep. they are taking their role as um, trying to keep order quite seriously. Now, here's an interesting thing. Their impression is one. So if any of you has a renown greater than that, which I believe you do, yes, uh, that could affect your uh, capabilities in this negotiation. I have a question. Can I, I, I have yeah. What the fuck's a renown? Imposing attitude is tactician or is a... Um, it's tactician. Like? It's specifically Vanguard. Yeah. So even that I'm... I'm a, Hooding up and using a scarf to cover my scale and snout, I still have the imposing attitude. I mm -hmm. say that you command any room you walk into while you're present, each hero with you is treated as having a renown that two higher than usual for the purpose of negotiation and influencing test. So you have two higher. Additionally, each hero with you have double edge on test made to stop combat and start negotiation with the other side indeed so i'll say silver you don't announce yourself but you probably say you probably express that you are members of the chain of acheron here on chain business and that immediately jumps all of you uh onto uh, a higher renown as the hawk lords may be a a local power mm. but the chain of acheron travels throughout the world and to realms beyond uh, and therefore you are I'm gonna say you're famous to the Hawk Lords uh, and fame means uh, your tests with a few skills are improved you could also be infamous mm -hmm. and that uh, does other things so fame or infamy here we go fame If a hero is famous, they gain an edge on tests when making arguments to which the flirt, lead, or persuade skill could be applied. So, with flirt, lead, or persuade, you are famous. As oh, okay. as you leverage the the reputation of the chain of Acheron as uh, talented mercenaries that. I mean, I have act lead everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, you have at the moment. The like, offer, so to speak, the, of the resolution of the negotiation is the captain is getting arrested. The rest yeah. of you are, are we free to We want to improve that. We want to turn yes. that into... So, the way that you want to act, uh, I'll take this manners as you started making these uh, these questions, as you using your silver tongue to attempt to uh, obtain their motivation and or pitfall. Uh so I'm this healthy, is a you, you you are the the speaker now. Well, so right now, Manners is not making an argument necessarily. Uh, you are trying to uncover a motivation. Okay. So give me a reason, intuition, or presence test, uh, and let me know if you're trying to figure out a motivation, meaning something that you want to argue for to convince them, or a pitfall, something <clears throat> to not say. Because if you mention a pitfall in your argument. That is an automatic uh, loss of patience and no... I, I, I think we, we have a clear motivation that they want. They want, one, arrest the captain. Two, se uh, secure inspect the, the wounded. Ship. Three, in inspect the ship. Mm -hmm. I think those are the three clear motivations just by talking to them. So, so that is what they know. want to do. I will say motivations in this version are more broad. They can be, for example, vengeance. Order. Uh, mm -hmm. Order. Yeah. Revelry. All right. Protection. So, peace. I, I, I'm going to say that their motivation is order. Like, something funny is happening here and they want everything dealt. I want to check a, a pitfall. So, okay. presence, test, uh, and yes. I gain an, or, an edge. Or reason or my, intuition. And yes, I believe you. I, for my silver Yes. Double tens. What? What? Oh, no! What? Holy shit! Take no. a picture of that, dude. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah. Get a pic, get a pic. What I'll say, uh, I'm going to give you <laughs> both <laughs> of their oh, pitfalls in this moment. We can't see anything. We can't see, can't see anything, but I'll see anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, <there laughs> yeah, for a yeah. moment, we, yes, yeah, there yeah, they are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> One in a hundred result. Yeah. <laughs> so, I will say, as you mentioned uh, the, the concept of a... a 
a higher authority but that the city of Black Motto may have given them or something like that. That is one of their pitfalls. Uh, the Hawk Lords uh, know that the captain is in clear violation of the law and that is the only higher authority they acknowledge. Oh. So making a, a reference to, well, they don't have any, any jurisdiction here, it doesn't matter. Smuggling mm -hmm. black powder is illegal and that's, that's all they need. They also uh, have a pitfall of benevolence. As concerned as they may be for the wounded, no one has ever helped the Hawk Lords. They are not going to pay anything forward. If you try and appeal to their good instincts, that will automatically fail. Mm. So those are the two pitfalls. Fuck, this is hard. Yeah. So... Can I ask something? Because uh, Kava mm -hmm. wouldn't have been here for a while. I, 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 I'm, I don't, I don't know exactly uh, how much, uh, but he hasn't been here for a while. Uh, when you say higher authority um, or benevolence or any of those, uh, it have the Hawk Lords in their history. Like, um, are they known for? Uh, be receiving any kinds of like payments, like uh, I don't bribe? know, like lot like br the bribe variety. Are they like? Uh, you can uh, make a reason test, uh, or you could do like intuition and looking at these uh, specifically to see yeah. like if they seem greedy. And yeah, I, I would. I would try to do the an intuition uh, read person or actually yeah. empathize. I think it would be better in this. So yeah. I'm trying to empathize with like with their what they actually are feeling. Okay, go ahead and give me so, uh, an intuition test, uh, and add the the plus two from the. Oh, that's that's so fucking low. Um, that's two fours. Oh, that's an eight. Plus two, that's a ten. Plus two, that's a twelve. So that's tier two. Ooh. So you're trying to read them. Uh, you're looking like there are some wealthy passengers here. To see, like, are they looking at them with more greed mm -hmm. in their eyes? Are they, like... Uh, and there's a moment where the the one with the crossbow that is staying further back, her eyes meet yours, and you know if you had maintained that gaze for a moment longer, she would have realized that you were trying to read them, and that would have, like, turned them against you, and you break uh, eye contact, and you continue, like, scanning the, the area, seeing as... Uh, you know, the appearance of someone mm -hmm. trying to figure out what the city, how it's changed since then. So you do not learn uh, information regarding the motivations uh, of these uh, NPCs. But I don't hinder the... Correct. They do Correct. not lose patience in this moment. They don't notice that you are uh, trying to, to deduce mm -hmm. things about them. I have a question. Uh, do you mm -hmm. uh, ro uh, wrote that the Hog Lords know that Oriel is in clear violation of the law? Do they know? Or do, um, do they have the suspicion? Because they, they haven't found the black powder yet. Yeah, I, I think it, it's difficult. So because the result on the presence test says that they search the ship and find the black powder. Right? Yeah. But yeah. you guys would have stopped and initiated violence in that moment. Mm. So they believe that they are going to find it. Like they're they've read something shifty in her actions and the, the stuff going on with the ship. Like they believe they're going to find something uh here. And they're holding her with the intention to arrest her, right? So I'll say that. Like they don't know it's black powder, but they know it's something. I mean so Black Bottom has the it's known as the city of smugglers for a reason. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. So you think the, the reason partly why they're here at the docks? Yes, they were concerned about wounded people, but they are here to search ships for contraband. So, all right. Uh, this is to the party. <laughs> what we really need to stop is the search. Mm -hmm. That's the real thing. I don't know how to do it just yet. I think uh, letting them get Oriel is all right we can if we are really like bleeding hearts like oh no for her we can read her later 
but we need to stop the search. In that case, can I can I try to uncover their motivation by using read person? Yeah, can I, like, you can give me. Them? It could be uh, a reason or intuition, the... depending on how you're you're doing it. Mm, but, but both are are the same for me too. This is for the group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kava will sink the ship. If even like and literally just fucking just just drown the black power. You're crazy. I'm, I'm <laughs> like I'm, I'm like like that is just so you know. Though, okay. like, if everything goes to shit, you yeah, will see Kava like just going down and like opening up all the floodgates <laughs> okay, sure. that he just patched. Yeah. Just f for the. Black powder not to get out. Silver priori priority for now. It's also uh, the safe of the passengers and the crew. So oh. he will try to to persuade that from some way to first let everyone get out uh, of the ship. Uh, actually, I think I have an yeah. idea. I, I need to yeah. see what Elena rolled. Yeah. So I get so intuition or reason two. Read, read person another two so that's plus four come on give me a good roll please be nice 15 could have been bad could have been better could have been worse oh that's uh that's tier pretty two. good tier two is pretty good almost fucking tier three i mean if it's tier two then it's not a it's not an immediate yeah. it's not a hinder can, can it's I not a hindrance to... their patience doesn't go down but yeah no. you are not getting information regarding the motivations uh, can can I try to help her? I have read person too. To give the another edge. Sure. Uh, so go ahead and give me a, a test. Like if you get. Remember, uh, yeah. If you yeah. get under, if you get 11, a lever under, it'll be a bane. You make it yeah, worse. A bane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, need, I, trust, I trust more information. Manage. I trust manage, yeah. yeah, we need mm -hmm. more information. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. And we're so close. That's good. That's an eight and a nine. Yeah. Okay. So with a seventeen, good, yeah, you. Man, you engage uh, the hawk lords in uh, conversation uh, and allow glasses uh, a moment to listen to their speech patterns uh, and determine like what they're focusing on and with that you and once again I'm probably gonna use the how they seem to be uncomfortable with me like she's a weirdo so I'm gonna use that like to be there like you know an actual weirdo like get all the information that I can so yeah uh you realize, like, as they are explaining that they're going to search the ship, you saw that they sort of stepped aside and they called for guards. And you realize they they had a face of concern, but they don't want to actually do the work. And you realize they are trying to expend as little effort as possible. Oh, they don't like days like this because it's going to mean filing incident reports. Uh, and you have a, one of their motivations is peace. Means sort of... Just keep things as they are. As they so, are. if you can convince them that they don't need to search the ship, if they can, uh, you know, get by doing something else, they'll. I I have a question then. You said mm -hmm. that the chain is famous. Yeah. Like just name dropping the chain of Agaron, uh, made them like hold on, uh, hold us in different re regard. Yeah, basically, you went from Say, being saying, like, mm -hmm. and do do they have the authority to meddle with chain business, or is this oh. is going uh, against their peace? Like they have, they gonna have to file maybe a report and say, or oh, or maybe uh, contact our superiors and do all this bureau bureaucracy. So that would work, saying that uh, having to, like, holding members of the chain would require uh, reaching out to their senior officers and, and all that. You know that if you mention, do they have the authority for it? That would run afoul no, no, of their no, pitfall. No, no, no. no. Like, I mean, can they, say, like, if they have the authority that to the hold cargo the in, on the yeah. ship is chain business. And if you want to uh, search this, you have to file this report and that report and contact my superior and oh, start the running the to the tavern to that all... would certainly work uh it would also be a lie 
So you could use your uh, your light test. Yeah. Now you wouldn't get the edge for being famous, but uh, you have a uh, yeah. Will that be a necessary ally? Because I I, I am it, it a, is a lie because the, 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 the cargo is is not ours. <laughs> no. Yeah, but the process. To, if, if I'm a noble and a soldier, I will know what's the correct process to that. Uh, there is no correct process to Never smuggle mind. goods into Black Bottom. It's it's done a lot, and as members of the criminal underworld, manners would know about this. So but yeah. <clears throat> sorry, this is All me right. and Silver that we are so good that we don't know how yeah. smuggling works. It's Where on this form do I mark smuggled drugs? I don't see it. <laughs> yes. It's on becoming. Of I us. have marijuana. <laughs> yeah. Do, do I have to put this here? I oh. I, I read weirder stuff on on the plane when you travel between countries. So. <laughs> yeah. It's on becoming of us to oh, actually uh, put us in with the way of the law. So if you want to search the cargo, you can do it. But remember that things here are a chain property and we are on chain business. So if you want to do that, I advise that maybe you have to actually uh, notify the uh, proper party because that's what is just for everyone. Uh, our senior officers are on the city and they are in different parts. I can say that to you, they are on the tavern called and I and start saying bullshit. <laughs> All bullshit, the bureaucracy like, like, bullshit, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm expert on it. I'm a devil. I know mm -hmm. my bureaucracy. <laughs> okay. And I and, so, and so I start much. name dropping different places from the city like you have to yeah. get that guy and that guy and that guy and you can totally search but you have to do mm -hmm. the correct do it properly. Yeah. So yeah. this is uh, an appeal to motivation which means it's going to be an uh <clears throat> an easier test. Uh so you can go ahead and make a presence test with a with a lie. I'll tell you. Tier 1 only their patience will decrease if you get it at tier two their interest will increase by one meaning you'll get a better offer and their patience will decrease or if you get it tier three only their interest goes up and their patience will remain oh, wow. Come and on. i'm marking them you should be able to see them on captain oriel's token yeah the blue one out of five is the interest the three out of five is patience it is not Captain Oriel's patience, it is patience about her, because mm -hmm. she is currently the one oh, yeah. uh, by the way, most to the party, affected by this. If everything else fails, violence, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're yeah. gonna kill these motherfuckers. Uh, in, <laughs> in Slayer's head, and, and again, he's like, if, why if don't we bring fails, them down, let them search, and kill them inside, and nobody has inside. to see anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and by the way, if that fails... I sink oh, the yeah. ship. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sink the ship. <laughs> I, I, I think we're it's gonna like the other level yeah. of like That's 14 so have... plus 2, 16, 16 plus 2, 18. 18. Hey, Incredible. Oh. Oh. Right, so, I show you. The fuck is happening? Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yeah. So, <laughs> dice cam. We need a dice we cam. We got a cat. Yeah. yeah. Dice, dice cam. cam. Uh, you mentioned this to the. The Hawk Lords, and you see their eyes start to go a little glassy as you're describing all of the steps that <laughs> would have to be followed. Steps, yeah. Proper. <laughs> and you see this one who uh, introduces himself as Hawk Lord Coriad. All right. Maybe we don't need to go through the entire procedure and then file everything like that. But this is clearly a, a significant uh, matter. We'd be willing to accept, say, a donation and of significant value, and then you are able to step forward into the ship, conduct your business uh, as required. What do you and think? When when they say a significant mm -hmm. donation, yes, a bit more back and forth gets by. It's not money. They are looking for a magical item, a something of significant value. <laughs> the dagger that we cannot use. <laughs> we just got <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. 
and the, the and captain. You see oh, that, like, as they're talking, you. Captain Oriel's, her hand sort of goes to her belt, she immediately and then she looks to you as she realizes yeah. she gave away the thing that could save her. Well, certainly this can help us, uh, as you said, I'm going to mutter to myself. Um, All right, so ask, ask I have to a question. The, to the party. Yeah, you, go ahead. I have a question, actually, before you, you, because I, I, I want to discard this idea before you give yours, because I, it's not with the weapon. So, um, Kava actually um, has jewelry that he made, he, he makes with him. Um, it's not magical, but it's... Um, and it's not like valuable in gold. It's some like its value is the design, like it's uh, the actual pieces. Uh, would Kava understand that that could help, like as as like a token of appreciation? Uh, you might be able to use that as part of an argument, like not as the okay. final. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like this is what we're paying you, but like. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course we we you know we appreciate you so much and like provide that. So it wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to pay the full amount with that, but you could certainly yeah. like try and use this to uh, to improve their opinion of you. So yeah, at this moment, so the party could choose to end the negotiation and give up their magical item, but you were so successful that there still is three patients. So you still have room to negotiate and try and get a better deal. Actually, so that's that's the thing. I can I, I can try to give that. So when we end the negotiation, if if you want, if you want to end the negotiation, give the magic. I don't. Know, and by the way, Kava does not care, and I I would not like he wouldn't say anything, mm -hmm. regardless. Um, like Kava is willing to do that, just to so, you know. So we didn't actually know if they have greed on on the right, right? No, not but. Their, can, can, their second offer was, maybe we don't have to do the full investigation if you can convince us. So you could probably, try and figure out if they're greedy. Yeah, yeah maybe now, now that that's on the table, maybe we can figure it out. Because I have a, maybe I have an angle that we can use. I, I, can, use, I can help you with that if I... Uh, so to 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 know if they actually have greed, I can say um, um, something along the lines like I'm using empathize. Mm -hmm. No, no, sorry, read person, not empathize. I use empathize. I'm gonna use uh, read person. Well, I'll take the like um, a, 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 an assortment of different like crafting, um, and not only jewels, jewelry, but like small. Uh, sculptures of different things in different mm -hmm. materials um and i'm basically what i'm trying to say is like um you you speak of uh, f uh a donation maybe we could understand you better if you choose from this like and i'm 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 showing different objects so w mm -hmm. depending on what they choose i could figure out yeah. more about them. That's my idea. So, right. um, so you're you're showing them these these items. Go ahead and give me uh, an intuition or yeah, I think person? intuition test and you can add uh, read person. Yeah. Uh, I don't know and as like as you're offering this, they say that well no, I mean clearly this isn't quite enough. But you see as their yeah. eyes are moving and like cataloging what pieces to to get. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. It's a 7 plus a 4, that's a 13, plus 2, that's a 15, plus 2, that's a 17. So that is oh. exactly tier 3. Oh. And you indeed confirm that their second motivation is greed. Uh, they are perfectly okay. willing to look the other way or even assist in illicit activity if it means greasing their own palms. So okay. they're like, oh, well, I mean, I, I certainly... We would need something more than oh that's that's quite nice actually and sort of pick it up and they see if it if it fits them. Well, I could do. Do you think you could? Uh, and yeah, I, they I, like I think they don't even they they just sort of like pocket uh, a small trinket uh, as yeah. they're explaining things. I, I uh, think uh, that uh, they look rather good in your hand, and look, 
we know how things can get sometimes with superiors. When sometimes you appear with a nice weapon, maybe a superior wants to grab it for themselves because mm. you you know I, I, I work in the chain and it's it's rather difficult maybe sometimes get to home with exploits and my senior officers look at them and say, well, you are just a newbie, you have to hand it to me and maybe something more innocuous is going to be more helpful to you too, so you can keep it. Hmm. Don't you consider that? Because if we are doing a donation, it would be most satisfactory for us to know that you are keeping this donation. So this certainly to me sounds like a reason test that you could use persuade. Uh, and even though Manners has been the person speaking, somebody else could, uh, if, Please if they do have it. the persuade skill, yeah, step yeah, in and, yeah. and mention it. I don't have persuade. I have persuade. Do you have it? Yep. Go for it. Yeah. Go big. So... And uh, I, we're using wait. greed, right? Yeah. yeah. Which means it's an easier test. So you roll for per for persuade, right? Yeah, yeah a persuade. reason test, With and reason. you add your persuade. Oh yes, reason. And my reason is two. Reason is two. Plus yeah. four. <gasps> Good. <Yes. laughs> like, how how reasonable are you? <laughs> He's a tactician. We need a, I'm a tactician. We need a tier two, right? Fifteen. So, uh, tier two. <laughs> Because so you are appealing to a motivation. <laughs> because you are appealing to a motivation, uh, they're at a tier two. Their patience decreases by one, but their interest increases by one. Yes. So if you had not had a motivation, a tier two result would have just decreased their patience. Their patience. So yeah. it's the importance of figuring out what motivates these these people. I, I I think that uh, Silver is helping on, on on this, but inside his head is say is saying by himself, they are too greedy, they are too greedy. Then that's just distracting me to. Sure. Yeah, you're so, biting yeah. your tongue. Yeah. It's like Coriad, uh, like folds his arms. And goes, yeah. You start out, and they say you have to pay your dues, and you pay your dues, and they keep paying, but. You never get other people's dues. You're just paying up. I mean, you're right. Listen. Trust me, I know. Say, we we put it at a, a modest fine. And, uh, you know, we, we, we deal with the captain. She, she pays us a modest fine, and then you can all go about your business. Mm, let's say we'll get through the paperwork next morning, maybe. No need to search the ship. So, a question. Of character. Do, Do we I have, have money? I like that's the, the one thing the I don't remember. Has some money uh, to pay this fine. Like you guys could forego the payment that you got as guards mm -hmm. for being on the on the trip. Like you had enough money to pay for uh, Stoneheart, Private Stoneheart, the the additional fee of carrying a pet mm -hmm. uh, in the ship. Right. So you have spending money for yourselves. And a bit more for the whole party. Like you guys have enough to get, for instance, nice rooms at a at a bathhouse right. slash inn, for instance, yeah. if you wanted to relax yeah. after a hard uh, journey and and a fight. And, and she and she can pay, uh, pay the fine and then just go and sell the black powder. In, and indeed, in, indeed. Yeah, yeah I, I think we are fine. Yep. So. With that, uh, you see sort of Coriad, his so, large hand like lands on the shoulder of Captain Oriel and goes like, <laughs> we're not letting her go I... until she pays us the money. But When he says that, Kava mm -hmm. will land the, the hand on the other shoulder and says, she will pay the money. And, <laughs> and, and sinks into her, like almost <laughs> not menacingly, yeah. like just like fucking just shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, she. you see her face like has gone from desperate and realizing that she was either going to die or like all of her crew was going to get into great trouble to like she is obviously she's not pleased she would rather not pay the fine obviously. but she's fine with this like she's she's willing to get uh through this 
So uh, she is not fine with the fine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> correct. So if you had, con uh, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll put it this way. If you continued and got a better result, if you mm. got interest four or five, you would leave this negotiation with a victory. Uh, at the moment, you are the the black powder will remain uh, hidden and may come into play later on. So, because this is the end of the adventure, uh, the victory doesn't. You matter. may choose not not to go for mm. that victory, but you know that victory does eventually mean an additional experience point towards a level up i'm just saying yeah Jeez. let's not be greedy we were just pushing them not to be greedy i'm good you, you also got to keep the magical stuff. item like the exactly. the yeah. tier the interest two result was okay fine you can leave but you have to give up the magical look item. I, I would try but i don't have any more angles to actually <laughs> reduce it to pull out yeah. of your yeah. ass so what you would have going <laughs> you need a tier three result to raise the interest higher and yeah, uh, it would it would require you guys would need to help each other, like help each other, assist each other in making arguments to build up edges, and then go for the for the full argument. I didn't know to what, what to result. say without exposing <laughs> myself and yeah. 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 Silver, Silver is in a weird position in this yeah. moment because normally yeah. they would be a great person to step in and start talking, mm -hmm. but they are a dragon knight talking to some yeah. hawk lords. We, but, we, but we cannot manners. do the good cop, bad cop situation or trying to... No. I don't have my partner here. He's hiding. Yeah. Alright. So... Are you calling I, it here or are you going to push your luck? I no. think we call it here. Ka yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ka That's Kava fair. has, like, Kava actually got what he wanted, so... Wonderful. Without saying a word, I think that Silver will give some dumb payment for the fine. Yeah. Why? You can Because it's Silver. Yeah, it's up to you. You can choose to not take your payment uh, for being the uh, guard uh, on this journey. Mm -hmm. Or you could, if you wanted to roleplay, say that you you gave back an additional amount. Uh, I'm going to, to give back an additional amount. Wonderful. <laughs> So, uh, in this moment, as you step off the docks, the passengers are glad to be uh, in Black Bottom. What did Kava, uh, as you split off from the squad, the members of the chain, head in, into the city of Black Bottom? Um, I will say, it, Kava actually looked at them and said, It was good to see you, but I think it's... I am called for... I need to... Keep protecting. If you see me around, don't hesitate to say hi. And well, and he extend like extend his his hand, mm -hmm. and he has uh, four small, uh, about like I don't know, like f ten to fifteen centimeters high um, sculptures of very flowing. Um, like states of like movement uh, similar to like heads with bodies but almost flowing water but when you touch it it is it's, it's like hard rock like a very tough hard mm. rock and it gets very like fine it's almost like you think it's gonna break but when you like when you touch it it's not brittle it almost like gives in a bit it, it 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 you feel it's almost like wood and you get one each wow. one of these tokens and say, and he says this is for you to remember me i have this and he he points to where one of the actual like arrows hit him like mm -hmm. before and yesterday he said i have this to remember you Thank you so much. You are so nice. Yeah. Uh, this is this is great. Thank yeah. you. If you if we see again, don't don't hesitate of calling off if you need anything. Either way. We're gonna buy you all all the alcohol if we meet again. I promise. You still owe um, me an arm wrestle as well. Don't go too far. I, and if you actually I want to lose. get rid of that. Whole 
I'm going to die and you want to maybe become immortal, you can come to me. <laughs> I can arrange that with Manners. Hey, I'm, I'm just I'm, offering, just offering. I'm sorry, but you call you call immortality living, but I call looking for significance living. I will uh, find my way. Potato potato. <laughs> Manners. And hey. and you go by the way, on the bottom of each statue you see a symbol. And maybe some of you know it. Mm -hmm. It's the symbol of the saint the saint the the, the Mason saint. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Cool. Amazing. Yeah. And with that you see the towering uh figure of the Hakan Kava, the, the craftsman stepping off uh, towards Black Bottom. Uh, and as you're grouped together, the married couple, the, the, the two women, the, the elf and human sort of step forward and say, that was incredible. You were amazing. Listen, um, my wife and I were uh, doing a, a few stops on our honeymoon. The first place that we're going to, I really recommend it. It's called The Drunken Fool. I know, the name is weird, but it has amazing bats. And Ooh. we could really use that. And I think all of you, well, yeah, it's our way of saying thanks. Uh, and they step off uh, into Black Bottom for what they hope will be a joyous occasion. You know, everyone no. looks... looks <laughs> I, I really fucking hope we save them because yeah, yeah. I'm quitting. I'm quitting this fucking game. We, we actually did. We the, actually those did. are the couple yes. that oh. are the first room. If you go back to the yeah. very oh, first that's session, true. there was a couple oh, that's, that's, and one say, of them yeah, was trapped. Yeah. Might yeah. have been blown. Manners <laughs> fluttered over, tried to lift it. The rocks shifted and hurt uh, waves uh, and was almost dying. And then Slayer bounded over that's, and used their yeah. tremendous lift. To oh, uh, completely free so the elf. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, we're good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're so good at this. So I think that's a good idea. Uh, maybe we can try that. We we are, we need to get in contact with the other member of the group. Mm -hmm. We'll see what the senior officers have to say. Yep. I'm going to take the skull. Uh, sorry, the head <laughs> from the ground uh, from the floor. You and I are going to have so much fun together. Yes, you and I are going to have so much fun together. And I start peeling and off the skin clean, clean in the meantime. That thing. And the next Indeed. time you try to help a, negoci a negotiation. What? A skull is much better than a severed head. I mean, it's, yeah. I didn't it's have any better. time. I know that. So with that, if you go back and watch our very first episode at in the early morning mm -hmm. before uh, the the inn gets attacked slayer was in fact cleaning, <laughs> cleaning a skull, a skull. <laughs> in the bath <laughs> now you know where it came from wow everything the perfect yeah. prequel everybody indeed we it all connects everything. and if wow. you're wondering why no one is using the magical item it's because none of us have a kit that can use a, a knife like that so I'm it like, all works yeah. okay it all connects <laughs> it's perfect this is canon canon yeah. <laughs> this is canon uh, oh. And this is where we leave the flashback that we've been having. And next time we will join our heroes once again as they are stepping onto the rooftops of Black Bottom, where I hope they may run into Kava once again hmm. because yeah. Kava is also trying to get their way out of Black Bottom as it's being attacked by Ajax's armies. Hmm. Yeah. So thank you all cool. for watching. Thank you all for playing. I, I love the fact that we managed to make this all sort of work together. Yeah. Uh, Cannon! And yes. <laughs> leave us a like, leave us a comment. I think there might have been a couple of mistakes, but we mostly caught the thing about the double banes because of the failed aiding the test. Failed attempt aiding so yeah. I think it worked out. Uh, if any of you did this adventure, leave us a comment. Did you negotiate with the Hawklords? Did you jump straight into a fight? How did it go for y'all? Did you get to keep the magic item? Alright. See you. See you, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.